Rząd polski uważa za swój obowiązek zwrócić się do rządów narodów zjednoczonych w celu znalezienia skutecznych środków, które powstrzymają Niemcy od dalszego stosowania metod masowej zagłady. Berno do Waszyngtonu. Deportacja i straszna śmierć grozi posiadaczom paszportów paragwajskich internowanych w obozach. Proszę pana ministra o energiczną interwencję u wszystkich odnośnych rządów. Anglia, Stany Zjednoczone, Paragwaj, Honduras, Ekwador, Kostaryka, Nikaragua, Haiti, Chile, Wenezuela. By wszystkie paszporty uznały na czas wojny za ważne. Sprawa bardzo pilna. Ładoś. Pierwszy raz natknąłem się na paszporty pod koniec lat 80., kiedy robiłem swoje badania genealogiczne i byłem w Jadwaszem. Moja mama zawsze mówiła nam, że nasza rodzina miała paragwajskie paszporty. Nie mieli ich fizycznie, ale byli na liście, która poświadczała, że są narodowości paragwajskiej. Dzisiaj rozumiem, że przemycenie paszportów do Holandii było zbyt niebezpieczne. Bergen-Belsen też był obozem koncentracyjnym, ale trochę lepszym, bo nie mordowano tam ludzi. Jak przyjechał Zajdel, oficer Gestapo z, z, z Auschwitz do Bergen-Belsen, żeby sprawdzić te paszporty i ten Zajdel to wszystko odkrył. Wszyscy poszli do Auschwitz. Alianci, Amerykanie, Kanadyjczycy, Anglicy. Bombardowali Drezno w Niemczech wiele razy. Dlaczego choć raz nie mogli zbombardować Torów? Tam to mogli zrobić, a tego nie? Dlaczego? Był to więc prawdziwy cud, że cała nasza rodzina przeżyła. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference uh, of the Institute of National Remembrance on the occasion of uh, tomorrow's uh, a national day of remembrance of Poles rescuing Jews under German occupation day. You've uh, just watched the trailer of a uh, Pol Mission movie, which will be discussed now by Jarosław Szarek, the president, Mateusz Mateszkowicz, member of the board of the Polish TV, and Jacek Papis, the director of the movie. In the second part of the conference, Dr. Mateusz Szpytna, deputy president of the institute, will discuss uh, the actions of the institute to commemorate Poles rescuing Jews under German occupation. This is an online event, so feel invited to ask your questions uh, through uh, the chat uh, in, uh, on YouTube. Over to you, President. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth time that we are celebrating the National Day of Remembrance of Poles rescuing Jews under German occupation. We are paying tribute to our compatriots who granted assistance to Jews condemned by the German occupant to die. These actions uh, put them on the height of their humanity and it leaves hope that the good will always prevail and will always conquer the evil even if the evil is backed up by superpowers sometimes uh, however sadly the price to pay is very high and uh, these people paid the highest price and uh, have been serving as inspiration and a role model to us ever since. On the eve of the National Remembrance Day of Post Rescuing Jews under German occupation, the Institute of National Remembrance is uh, presenting its initiatives related to the celebration of uh, the people who paid the highest price. We've been working all year round uh, preparing this day, preparing 
or press articles, press releases, books and movies. Thanks to all uh, these actions, our knowledge has been growing. Many years ago, a symbol of uh, sacrifice was uh, just uh, Irena Sendler. Now there are many more. The Ulma um, family, mother Matilda Ghetto, Henrik Sławik, and a group of Polish diplomats and uh, Jewish activists. The so-called Wados group were the ones uh, extending a helping hand to the Jewish population. We know all that thanks to uh, the activity of Ambassador Jakub Kumach and the Pilecki Institute. A movie directed by Robert Kaczmarek on the story, uh, produced by the Institute of National Remembrance, turned out to be a huge success. So far, across various uh, channels, including social media, it um, has had nearly one million viewers. It was showcased all around the world, ranging from Toronto, New York, through The Hague, uh, Jerusalem, uh, Tel Aviv, uh, all the way through Moscow and St. Petersburg. The success of the said movie made us uh, walk this way together with the Polish TV and the Polish Film Institute, we prepared another one, directed by Mr. Jacek Papis, entitled Paul Mission, The Secrets of Passports. And this is the movie we'd like to show you tomorrow on Polish TV. Feel invited to watch uh, Channel 1 of the Polish TV tomorrow at uh, 21 hours. I'd like to thank everybody who contributed to this movie. At the Institute, so we are already thinking about another project, another movie showing uh, the dedication of the Polish uh, diplomacy uh, to help uh, uh, the Jewish uh, citizens uh, during the Second World War. The National Day of Remembrance of Poles rescuing Jews under German occupation is so much more than just Pol mission, the secrets of passports. It's about uh, many more initiatives by the Institute of National Remembrance taken this year and in the previous years. And this will be covered in a minute by my deputy, Mateusz Spytna. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And feel invited to watch uh, Paul Mission, Secrets of Passports, tomorrow on Channel 1 of the Polish TV at 21 hours. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Now we, would we will see what Mateusz Matyszkowicz, member of the board of the Polish Public TV, has to say. Since 39, Poland has been occupied. However, our uh, government or Polish diplomacy remained active. So we can learn from the film called Pol Mission that we produced together with the Institute of National Re Remembrance, uh, we we'll learn about uh, the activities of Polish diplomats who, together with other countries and their services, uh, prepared documents for Jews who were at risk, who were threatened, uh, could leave and be saved. TVP tomorrow and on Thursday at 20 past 9 p.m. Thank you. So please watch TVP1. But now I give the floor to Dr. Mateusz Spitma, deputy head of the Institute, who will tell us about the initiatives of the Institute of National Remembrance, trying to remind everyone of what Poles did in order to save Jews under German occupation. And he will tell us about our current initiatives at the Institute. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the Institute of National Remembrance from the very beginning uh, since, uh, well, 2000, since the year 2000 has been uh, dealing with history 
of the lives of Poles who rescued Jews, this topic has always been important since uh, Janusz, late Janusz Kurtyka was uh, president and it remains one of the central activities uh, that we research, or one of the central themes that we research at the Institute. Let me take you through our major initiatives in the recent years. The president of the Institute, Dr. Jarosław Szarek, said quite a lot about the film itself, the documentary that will be airing tomorrow. But I would like to stress that when it comes to Poles rescuing Jews outside of this country, uh, well, this film, this documentary was, of course, uh, created, and it's, uh, well, the Passports to Paraguay, that was another movie that uh, was made, and the second one, Paul Mission, that will be airing tomorrow, uh, well, they are part of these activities, and tomorrow also a special uh, commemorative uh, plate will be, uh, plate will be um, inaugurated uh, about the Wados group, which was a group of, uh, which was a group of Jews that were rescued by Polish citizens. It is estimated that this rescue mission concerned at least 800 uh, Jews from the city of Benjin. Not all of them, unfortunately, survived. However, many of them uh, were successfully saved. Let me also remind you about another very important civil servant, someone who was active outside of Poland, actually in Hungary, namely Henryk Sławik, who saved thousands of lives, thousands of Poles as well as thousands of Jews. So let me encourage you and invite you to read our book uh, that was published last year by Dr. Tomasz Kurpiesz, uh, who talks about the life of Henryk Sławik. It's a major, uh, very profound biography of Mr. Sławik, showcasing not only what he did in Hungary, but also describing uh, his activities as a social activist during the era of the Second Republic of Poland. A very good portrait of this noble man who died uh, in August 44. He was murdered in a concentration camp of Mauthausen Gusen. So well, uh, we also published a brochure by Mr. Ambassador Grzegorz Wupczyk uh, about this particular figure in our history. Also, our Department of Education in Katowice developed uh, a, doc a documentary about um, Henryk Sławik. That, well, the Institute of National Remembrance was also involved in uh, erecting a monument in Budapest, a monument as, uh, of Henryk Sławik and Jerzy Andalf Sr. And this was co-funded by the department and office for remembrance of martyrdom. Today, the well, the involvement of the Polish government in exile uh, today is not questioned or challenged anymore. Before that, it was not uh, widely known and, well, in this case, also the Institute of National Remembrance, apart from the documentary Paul Mission, uh, also researches uh, these topics quite profoundly. So please 
take a look at Polish Jewish studies and the article of uh, Dr. Alica Gontara, who talks about the Polish uh, representation, Polish uh, consular and diplomatic mission in Havana. Uh, the author also analyzes the activities of other um, diplomatic missions and diplomatic uh, offices, uh, for example, in Greece. And it turns out that uh, the campaign in order to save Polish citizens, including uh, Jews, is not only Istanbul, not only Bern, uh, not only Havana, but there are plenty of other countries and other diplomatic missions. Let me remind you about uh, our campaign last year when together uh, with the Polish postal services we created and we designed a postcard about the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, Edward Raczynski. He was the one who was the first to tell the world about the tragedy of the Jewish nation. It happened in 42, and he learned about that thanks to his contacts uh, with people who were involved with the Polish, uh, Polish government in exile and Polish underground state. We have to mention Zagota as well, which is the Council for Assisting Jews in December 2017 together with the President's Office and Michael Shudrych, uh, the rabbi of Poland, we uh, opened our um, exhibition about Zagota. So this was a very major exhibition, very serious, that uh, was very much appreciated. It's still ongoing, and it was designed together with the Office of uh, History Research and the Office of National Education, you can, mm, we can still, we still have some copies of this publication. The very symbol of how people, Polish people, rescued uh, Jews is Irena Sendlerowa. She was behind the act of saving over 2,000 of Jewish children who were then in hiding, who were then placed in hiding uh, across Poland. And we also mm, developed a, a publication about Irena Sendlerowa. It was published several years ago. Saving and rescuing the lives of Jews is also something that uh, Polish uh, monasteries were involved in. Uh, Matilda Getter, Mother Matilda Getter was helping Irena Sendlerowa and actually without her, Sendlerowa would not have been so successful in saving Jewish children because these children had to be placed somewhere in private homes or in monasteries. Mm, so, well, uh, the Franciscan sisters uh, were very much involved, but also other monasteries and cloisters were involved. In the recent years, we've also been focusing on this particular um, convent, and we've managed to shed light on the very person of Matilda Getter, but also we shed light on how this particular convent helped save Jewish lives. So there is an exhibition, there is a publication in Warsaw, also on the very walls of the building where the convent was. Mm. On the wall of the building uh, we placed uh, a special, uh, a special commemorative plague in three languages. I feel especially close to the Ulma family. I believe they are a symbol of all Poles uh, who perished uh, for helping Jews. Just to remind you, we can estimate that around uh, a thousand Poles uh, perished at the hands of uh, Germans. 
prawo niemieckie z października 1941 roku. The German law of uh, October 1940 was very strict about uh, helping uh, Jews and uh, uh, putting uh, on a death penalty for it. And so it happened to the Ulma family on the 24th of uh, March 1944. Every year it is now a national day of remembrance of Poles uh, rescuing Jews. And uh, the role of uh, the Institute in celebrating the remembrance of um, uh, this family is huge. Uh, uh, we can uh, talk about the exhibition, the Samaritans of Markova, and uh, published materials. And five years ago, a museum was opened uh, to them in Markova, and it couldn't have been possible were it not for um, a great deal of support from the Institute of National Remembrance, especially the division in Krakow and uh, in Rzeszów. Let me now thank the Bureau for National Education for the clip uh, they made three years ago. You can find on our website. It's a very emotional short story of uh, the Ulma family. Today, we know of many more such families. Meanwhile, the first volume of Registry of Persons Repressed for Helping Jews was published, where we are showing uh, several hundred persons who perished. The registry was prepared at the Institute and uh, made by Alexandra Namysła and Martyna Gronska in collaboration with uh, Professor Grzegorz Weremke. The history of uh, Poles rescuing Jews uh, is also a history of uh, elementary exhibitions. Uh, two out of three listed here are showing uh, the uh, demise of uh, Jews during the Second World War, the Shoah, uh, because uh, the two are very much related to each other. After all, out of six million Jews who perished, three million were our uh, uh, compatriots. I already mentioned uh, the lexicon of uh, Poles uh, repressed and uh, murdered for helping Jews. And these are some further books published recently. I also encourage you to get familiar with uh, our further published material on the topic. There's a catalogue available for some time already on the web, but as of today also in print. There you can follow all published materials on uh, the Shoah and uh, on uh, Poles uh, saving Jews. So now we have a strong collection of all of them in Polish and in English. You can also get familiar with our multimedia on www.ipn.gov.pl. There are also uh, debates on the topic to watch there. Also, every year we prepare press releases and press articles on the subject. These are the ones from the previous years. Uh, this year, uh, the Kielce Division prepared a, a press inlet uh, on uh, saving Jews in rural areas during the Second World War.
We also uh, have a special um, issue of Nasz Dziennik uh, on the topic prepared by IPN Division in Lublin. Also, feel invited to our website devoted to uh, remembering Poles uh, saving uh, Jews. It's called a life for a, li a life for a life. Życie za życie dot pier. Now let me tell you more about what's ahead of us in the oncoming days. I mentioned the special press issues. We also publish a brochure on uh, uh, Mother Matilda Goethe in Russian. Tomorrow, we'll also unveil uh, the commemorative plague and the Warsaw uh, Zoo uh, to commemorate uh, the Zabinsky uh, family who also saved the Jews during the Second World War. Later this year, we'll publish some papers and books on Poles uh, saving Jews. What's especially essential to the knowledge on the subject is uh, the research. Uh, a collection of uh, studies on uh, uh, the subjects uh, from all over the territory of our country. Our scientists have uh, worked on it uh, for several years already. Also, uh, we plan to publish further volumes of uh, the book uh, edited by uh, Mr. Piątkowski, showing uh, source materials on saving Jews in uh, districts of uh, occupied Poland. So far, four volumes uh, came to light, three last year. Uh, volume five will be devoted to uh, Galicia and uh, Volinia, then the Białostockie uh, and Vilnius uh, districts, and then uh, the land incorporated to uh, the German Reich. We also have a monography prepared on Jews, um, on helping Jews in Silesia. A similar, similar books uh, are also prepared by various persons from our institute too. Also, Tomasz Domański is going to uh, publish his book on the Kielce district and helping Jews there. And there will be another book on the Poznańskie province and helping Jews there. On our website, you can find uh, a movie, a recording of a theater piece titled uh, The Day of Wrath, based on the script by uh, Roman Brandstetter. Last but not least, uh, we'll inaugurate this later this year a post stamp commemorating Poles uh, murdered for um, helping Jews in Popardowa in Lesser Poland. This uh, stamp uh, was jointly designed and prepared by the Polish Mail and the Institute of National Remembrance. You can find everything, all the materials uh, and uh, all the papers uh, and mentions on our website, all 63 of them, so we've uh, been doing quite a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, President. Of course, uh, feel invited to our website for further information. And thank you very much uh, for attending this press conference. Thank you.